Good evening. Um, I'm at a location in Devon, um, which I'm not really uh, going to reveal on this video, which is a bit unusual for me, but it's sort of going to be on someone's property, so I don't want to go uh, publicising it. Um, I'm also filming on a different camera, so hopefully uh, it won't be too bad. Um, so, I'm at or going to be at a rapeseed field, which I'm at one now, obviously, uh, you can see behind me. Uh, this is not the one I'm actually shooting this evening. Um, I came to the location yesterday evening and didn't really get the shots which I wanted. Um, hopefully I got some sort of okay, which I'll put up at the end of this video. Um, but I'm here for something specific tonight to try and get uh, the clouds lit up after the sun's actually gone down below the horizon I want to see if I can get some lovely red clouds um, the sun's sort of setting over there and you can see there's a fair few clouds over there which could light up but I'm not actually shooting in that direction the sun will be off to my right I'm pretty much ooh, uh, shooting off uh, sort of directly behind me um, a bit further down the road I'm a few minutes away from it so I'm going to drive down there in a minute uh, but I do love a nice rapeseed field and um, we have quite a few of them in Devon um, where I'm going now in a second is probably my favorite uh, location of them um, which you'll see in a minute when I get there and hopefully I can get the uh, shot which I'm after with the clouds lighting up um, shame I'm not actually, well the main shot I'm after is not facing those clouds but there are some which I can shoot in that direction there um, so if it comes down to it I will uh, shoot in that direction if the clouds all lit up nicely so we'll have to see what it, what colour we get in the sky um, we're probably about 5-10 minutes away from the sun completely dropping now so I'm going to head off to the location in a minute and get myself set up and I'll um, catch up with you in a minute well I'm uh, at the location now um, you can see the sun is setting over there behind me and uh, this is what I'm trying to capture so absolutely amazing lovely tree lined single track road, rapeseed fields, either side and what I'm waiting for now is the sky to light up behind me there but great location um, I've photographed here oh, it's got to be I don't know probably a couple of years ago now um, I think it was back winterish time sort of thing and there was no leaves on the trees and, and no no crop in the fields here so I mean it's quite quite barren and I did think at the time uh, it's a location I've got to get back to and completely forgot about it until I um, went to another location the other day up the, up the road um, and I s happened to glance over to my right as I was driving back and spotted it and thought yes it's looking great now um, so anyway um, just got to hang around a bit now uh, the old patience game uh, waiting for the light um, the lights gonna be fading obviously but as I said I want the, the clouds to light up um, the tree which I got yesterday evening um, was the tree over there, the single tree in the in the field, uh, with the sunset behind it. Um, so that's a possibility again um, if the clouds light up. But anyway, um, I'm set up just just down the middle of the path, um, shooting a landscape at the moment. Uh, but I might also whack it up into portrait in a minute to um, get a panorama um, 
but uh, this is all going to depend on whether the sky lights up or not. Well, the sun's going down, so it's starting to get a tiny bit chilly, so I'm going to just uh, put my coat on and I will be back with you shortly. As you can see, there's still not much uh, light in the sky, colour in the sky behind me. Um, so I don't think I'm going to get what I wanted again. Um, I took my old obligatory selfie, um, which I forgot to take last night. Um, but apart from that, it doesn't look like I'm going to get anything. I'm going to wait around another 10 minutes, but if it hasn't uh, lit up by then, it's not going to. And this is so close to where I live. Um, literally, uh, what is it, between about five minutes, something like that, drive. Five, six minutes drive from where I live, so uh, it's not like I can't pop back here again. Um, so if I manage to pop back and get the sort of shot I was after, um, I'll put that up at the end of the video. Uh, if I can't, um, you'll just have to make do with the shots that I've taken already. Um, but absolutely fantastic location for me. Like I said, I just love rapeseed fields. Um, and this, the tree-lined road here is, is just amazing with the rapes on either side. Uh, like I say, not a location I'm going to give out. Um, but there are plenty of rapeseed fields across Devon. Um, absolutely loads of them. There is uh, well, another one just across the other side of the road from here. Another one up the road, uh, just just all over the place. Um, so I'm sure you can uh, find yourself a great rapeseed field location as well, um, and get a nice colourful landscape. Well, it's getting even worse over behind me. Um, so pretty sure I'm not going to get what I want, but. Um, just a short video, not my usual type, like I say I usually put up a map with the location and all that sort of thing, um, but I just wanted to, like I say I came and photographed here last night, didn't bother videoing it, uh, so I thought well I might as well pop back, see if I can get the shot I wanted and might as well just video it while I'm here. So, um, short one but I hope you enjoyed it, uh, if you did please thumbs up. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all the usual, and I'll be back with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, and um, actually, I'm not sure when when I'll be posting this, but um, I've passed a hundred subscribers, so I'd just like to say thanks uh, to all of you. Really appreciate it. It's um, you guys which keep me going out. Um, I love it myself as well. Um, I use it as a bit of me time, thinking time, love to get away, out and about on your own, uh, into nature, that sort of thing. Um, but it does give me a boost to think that you guys are watching them, enjoying them, and hopefully uh, getting you guys to get up and get out and enjoy the outdoor world. Um, there's plenty of great locations all over the world and nature is just fantastic so anyway thanks again to all of you that have subscribed um and i'll see you again soon Bye for now.